Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada, about to be covering the 2012 International CES. The show doesn't officially start until Tuesday, however I'm going to be getting some coverage starting this afternoon probably, so before we get into all that, I want to go ahead and go over some last minute things about what we can expect to see, as well as what's already been announced. Google always has a big presence at the show, and I expect this year is going to be no different. Now, of course, last year we had Android on literally everything. We had phones, tablets, just everywhere you looked, you saw Android. And I expect this is going to be pretty similar this year. Uh, so the story of this year, I imagine, will be quad-core processors. Uh, and both phones and tablets, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of processing power. And on top of that, we're also going to see Ice Cream Sandwich. If we see a phone that launches that does not have Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, not good. We should also see some cool new Google TVs this year. Now, while Google TV was at the show last year, there were a few, uh, Google TV has basically been a maybe not failure, but it has not done very well at all in the past year or so. However, it looks like Google is refocusing. They've got the software side much better now, and they're going to be launching a lot of new Google TVs from several manufacturers, so I'll definitely be sure to take a look at that. Moving on, we also are going to be seeing some stuff from Microsoft. Uh, now, Microsoft didn't have a whole lot at the show last year, not a lot of exciting, incredible stuff, uh, but this year, I imagine that they're really going to be focusing on Windows Phone 7. Uh, now, of course, Nokia, this is going to be the first major show for Nokia in quite a while, and of course, they're going to have some new Windows phones for us. So the number one thing that we've heard is the is the Nokia Lumia 900, also possibly known as the Ace or something. Lots of code names, but regardless, it should be very similar to the Lumia 800, which launched a couple months ago in Europe and some other countries. Uh, but it should be a little bit bigger of a screen, more like 4.3 inches, and it should have 4G LTE support for AT&T. So definitely looking forward to taking a look at that one. Now for something for all you camera geeks out there, Nikon has officially announced the D4. Now this is going to be the successor to the D3S, and i got to say it looks really sweet. So of course it's still built like an absolute tank. You're going to have about a million buttons everywhere, which is what you want. You have dials and joysticks and what have you, you can have it all over the place. It also does have a crazy ISO of up to over 200,000. So with this thing, you're only going to be able to see in the dark. It's going to be absolutely insane. Uh, now, as far as the price, it's going to be expensive. It is the top of the line. It's going to run you about $6,000. I mean, counting all the Nikon lenses that you're definitely going to want to pick up. So probably not a camera that me or you are going to buy. However, definitely an awesome camera, and I'll be looking forward to taking a look at it. Anyway, guys, it's going to be about it. My coverage will be officially starting tonight and will be running through the rest of this week, so expect lots and lots of videos on literally all the cool stuff, the tablets, the phones, the cameras, the TVs, you name it. If it's something cool, I'll pull my camera out, I will record it, and I'll definitely be uploading lots of content for you guys. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button up above. You'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And if you want some up-to-the-minute coverage, I will be covering pretty much everything on Twitter, pictures, video, tweets, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to follow me, it is at Duncan33303. And the link will be in the description of this video. Anyway, guys, it's going to be about it. For now, I'm going to go ahead and head outside and enjoy the wonderful weather and probably go get my hands on some cool tech. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.